the history of mankind, God has been willing to feed himself into humanity, producing a dynamic, abundant, exciting, fulfilling, energetic, satisfying life. Come to me and drink and I will give you abundant life. God is looking for people who believe his word, who will speak his word, who will stand on his word. We're made to be healed. We're made to be delivered. We're made to have joy. We're made to have peace. We're made to be the example of Jesus Christ on the earth and let his life flow through us. And people can say, I don't believe in God. That's okay. Go try to fulfill yourself without him. Go try to satisfy that thirst and hunger inside of you without God. You will come to the end of yourself. Rather than focusing on what you expect out of life, what if you ask yourself, what does life expect from me? Something inside of us tells us we're missing something. Jesus wants us to know who he is. I am the resurrection and the life. Don't fear death. I will raise you up. And then because he knew that we would always be searching for the way through life, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I will guide you to the Father. So here's the question that I ask you, whatever happened to our God thirst? Greatest miracle I will ever see is when a soul is saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the greatest miracle in the history of mankind. When do we get the message that the things that we go through We go through because God is saying, I want to use you. I want to use your testimony. So we shouldn't get angry with God. We shouldn't be upset with God. We should walk through that storm. We should walk through that fire. And we should just keep on walking, trusting God. But I tell you, we're coming to the other side of it. And our lives are going to be a testimony to Him. There has to be a desire to grow in the grace and the knowledge. Pray. Seek His face. Those who actively seek right standing with God, for they will be completely satisfied. You must hunger. You must keep on hungry. You must thirst. You must keep on thirsting for righteousness. This must become our lifestyle.